the darkness of horses. Black is this year's colour of my countryside. The long tailed winding sheet shredded plastic banners unfurling maniacally over banshee barricades of piled up pigs, prices, bald tractor tyres and limping bedraggled beasts in mud, in manure, in watered down milk, beneath skulking clouds, so say all of us. Night shift. Unreal ales fuel this flight, these unreal times. The questionable skies watching the escape along the rising and falling, the rising and falling, the query in the stomach, the doubt in the eyes this licorice night. As the trees reach out from the hedges, the bony seduction of witches who wait at crossroads, the meaningless but reassuring road signs. Nothing is as it seems until one is upon it. As from a vehicle with a photograph of a missing woman, sellotape to its rear windscreen, a cigarette butt is thrown, hitting the glossy tarmac in a swan song of embers, microcosmically more extensive than this moment. Each spark a parallel world of universes, colonies and dynasties, unknown to the travellers of roads. Just a memory a premonition, a troubling dream. Tired eyes see nothing, oblivious to witchcraft, returned to the absence of light. When I am no more. When I am no more, delete me from memory, together with anything I may have done or said. Do not glorify me in a headstone, for I was no hero, though I dreamt daring acts beneath the safety helmet of my skull. I did not prevent mass murder in Africa or invent a cure for cancer, but ghosted about in a misty manner, thinking I was in a film by Kurosawa. I will be pleased to leave my corpse for backstreet magicians to fashion candles for the tourist trade. <laughs>